Hey, hello everyone. So today we'll be talking about another topic in Angular, which is frequently asked in most of the Angular interviews. That's uh, your model-driven forms and uh, your template-driven forms. And we'll be also seeing how we transition from a, a template-driven form to a model-driven form. So yeah, let's look at it. Okay, before I get into the details of a model driven form or a template driven form, I'll just give you a brief about what the project is all about. So we have an employee list here. Uh, I mean, we have it in a tabular format and we are denoting the first name, last name, email. And we also have a few form controls wherein we are denoting the department where the employee belongs to and also they have been given a target. So that is being highlighted uh, just besides the form control and the completed value, the, the target that they have currently completed that is being highlighted in a free form text box. Okay, so let's talk about the template driven forms first. So in template driven forms, you have something called as a, a forms module, which you will import it in your feature module or the or the root module which you're using. So once you have the forms module, you can actually use your ng module, uh, ng model directive and, uh, and, and bind all the form controls using two way binding. So that is what I have done currently. So if you just see the table, uh, I call an employee service, get all the list of employees and also I get the department which they belong to. Now uh, I have all the departments with me and if I just show you the code here, so the rest of it is pretty straightforward wherein I'm just using angular expressions to, you know, to do, to uh, bind the first name, last name and email. But, but for uh, department and target as they are form controls, I have made use of the ng model directive and I'm, uh, I'm actually doing a two way binding here by using the ng model directive and same applies to the input directive. This is a free form text box and again an ng model is used. So uh, what I'm trying to say is in template driven forms, you, you basically have a, a two way binding, but in, when, when it comes to a model driven form, you will be moving away from, you know, two way binding. You will be using something called as a form group and a form array, if I may say so. This video is not exactly a tutorial to explain you what a model driven or a template driven form works. So I'm assuming uh, you're already aware most of y'all would be aware of how template driven forms work but we in this video we'll be just transitioning from a template driven form to a model driven form so in 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 a model driven form as i said we have something called as form groups and within a form groups there are multiple form controls so you see there are like 10 rows within this table and in each row there are like two 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 uh, form fields right so so for 10 rows, we'll have like 20 form fields. Okay. So a person say uh, who is new to angular, what he'll do is he'll, he'll add these form controls using the, uh, you know, the index that you have or the index that you get in ng4. So if I just show you, so what they might do is, uh, you have an ng4 and you, you get an index with that. Okay. So. In, in, in model driven forms, what you do is within a form group, you have to specify all the form controls. So within the form controls, uh, the form control name, uh, so for different rows, what they'll do is they'll append. So let's, let's call this, uh, department. So for each department to be unique, what they'll do is they'll append the, the index with it. But that is not a way, not a very efficient way to do things in Angular. Along, I mean, along with the form group, you have something called as a form array, which, which we'll be using. And, uh, what, what I'm trying to uh, say is within the form group, you'll have a form array and within that form array, you will have multiple form groups. Okay. And each form group will have two controls. That's the department and the target. Okay. So by doing this, this is much, this is a much cleaner way to, of achieving things and a much efficient way to do things in angular instead of you know appending index and having you know multiple form form control names within it within one form group so let's quickly see how we transition from a template driven to a model driven form so if i go to the code so uh, this is the component which has the table the first and foremost thing which we'll need is a form group so let's call this an employee form and the type would be a form group Okay. And then you will, 
to create a form group you will need something called as a form builder form builder so that's done now in ng on init wherever, wherever we are calling the contact service so before that uh, what we need to do is we need to create the form so this dot employee form equal to this dot fb dot group so what this will do is the form builder is basically used to create the form group so this will create the form group for us and within the form group what we need is we need a form array so let's call this employees and this will be new form array okay right so now uh, once you have the form array ready what you will do is you will need to create multiple form groups within it okay so before creating the form uh, groups within this form array what we will do is we will create a simple getter function which will return us the form array so let's call this employees form array and this will return us a form array this will return this dot employee form dot get let's we had named it employees so we'll keep the same here and as this is returning a form array we'll typecast it to a form array okay okay so now let's add the form groups to the form array so we have already called the contact list service which will give, uh, give us a list of contacts and this will be an array of objects wherein each object represents one contact in the table so we'll iterate over uh, the contacts and create that many form groups uh, as we have the contacts so let's create a for loop here let i equal to 0 i is less than this dot contacts dot length i plus plus then we will call the employees form array get method that we just created and we need to push the new form groups okay so here within this we'll be saying this dot fb dot group so the form builder uh, will be used to create a form group again and within this form group we'll have two form controls one is if i go to the html it would be the department so let's copy that let's call this department here and let's give it a value blank for now and then what you have is the completed uh, key so these two are the only form controls within the within the form group and the rest of it uh, would remain the same because those were anyways uh, being you know they, they were being used inside an angular expression that, so that remains the same so if I go back now department and completed have you know have the values so we, we need to give uh, the values that come from the service okay so we will first check if this dot contacts i if it's defined and if it's defined then we need to check if department is defined okay we will copy this dot department if it's defined then we will say else we will again keep it as null okay and similarly for completed and mind you uh, the contacts interface is already uh, defined on top so if i just go to the contact interface so department and completed are already there here so like coming back so i'll replace this with completed okay so now we have uh, we have the form group uh, we have the form array within it and we also have the individual form groups which represent each row in the table okay so now let's edit the html because we would need some changes there as well because uh, that takes into account uh, i mean this is basically a template driven form we need to convert it into a model driven form so let's do that quickly let's quickly make the changes in the html template so uh, we already have the ng4 here so uh, we are going to iterate over the form array and we have multiple form groups within it so we'll be uh, accessing those form groups with the index of the ng4 
so before that we will have to define the form array name and also we will need to tell what is the parent form group ok so to define the parent form group we will say it's an ng container let's say this is form group form group this would be employee form let's copy it from the component ok there won't be two square brackets there will be just be one and uh, within this there will be another ng container form array name so this would be employees ok so within this you will have the tr tag which gets repeated so we will cut that from there paste it inside our ng container and then uh, here we need to define the form group name form group name ok so this would take into account the index that we get so our index here is i so let's call this i now we need to convert the ng model to uh, from two way binding to uh, a model driven form so we have something called as form control name which would be department and here if I remove this the form control name here is completed we go here ok we will save this let's go to the UI refresh the UI and there you have it so we have successfully you know converted a, a, a template driven form into a model driven form and all these are dynamic form controls that you see and we have also used uh, uh, an ng4 to iterate over the form groups within a form array so uh, people who uh, are having difficulty you know to iterate over a form array can always you know use this method this is a much cleaner way uh, to do things instead of you know having multiple form controls within the employee form itself so yeah so if you uh, like the video do, uh, do give it a like do share it with your friends and thank you